Hello friends, welcome to this course on LS Dyna. In this lecture, we are going to start with our first analysis in LS Dyna. And we are going to start with very simplest type of analysis that is called ball hitting a plate. Now in this problem, a ball is hitting a plate and our objective is to simulate this problem. Now let's understand the problem first and then we will go to LS Dyna to solve this problem. Here we can see in this picture we have a plate and we have a ball. And this ball is going downward and then this ball is hitting the plate. So here we can see the dimensions of this plate. This plate is of 10 by 10 meter. Thickness of this plate is 5 mm and the ball is of diameter 4 meter. So here we are going to create the ball as a solid part and for the plate we are going to use the shell element. It means we are going to use the mid surface and then we will apply the thickness to that mid surface. So in LSD now when we solve any problem we need to follow these steps. Now the first step of course will be to create or import the geometry. So in this step, if we have any existing geometry, we need to import that or if we want to create the geometry in LS China, we need to do that. After creating the geometry, our second objective is to create the mesh. So we have different types of mesh available in LS China. So according to that part, we need to create the mesh. After that, we need to properly select and create the material property and then we need to apply that property to each component. Material properties are one of the most important part of LS Dyna simulation. So it is very important for you to have a good understanding of material in LS Dyna. After creating the material properties, we need to apply the loads and boundary condition to the problem. So in this step, we are going to apply the load just like pressure, force, etc. And then we are going to fix the object according to the situation. In the next step, we need to apply the contact between the bodies. So in LS Dyna, we have a huge library of contacts. So we can apply the contact according to the situations. After that, we need to create the section property and then part. So we are going to learn about each step one by one when we perform the analysis. After that we need to do the analysis step. In this we are going to insert all the properties and values for the output. So we are going to cover this later in this lecture series. So first let's go to LS Dyna and we need to create the geometry. So before that let's understand different dimensions of this object. So for this plate, we are going to create this plate using the four coordinates. Here we have all the coordinates. We are going to create this object just like it is showing into this XYZ system. So Z direction is in perpendicular. So we are going to take Z0 in all the coordinates. Similarly for the ball, we are going to take the spherical ball of radius 4 and this value of center. Unit system in this problem we are going to follow in the Newton, meter, second and kg. So in LS Dyna we have to be very careful about the units. So we have to be consistent in the units. So now let's go to LS Dyna and create this problem.